here from Ann Makes. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Yes, for you. Have you seen outside my lovely winter wonderland? What happened? Yesterday I went to Dollar Tree. Um, I was at Dollar Tree while my son was uh, going for his drive test. And I'm happy to report that he passed. And he is officially a... Uh, driver now <laughs> he has his temporary permanent uh, license now because you know the, the official one's gonna come in the mail in a couple weeks but I'm so happy that was done and uh, that's that's done my baby and my baby was uh, my chauffeur yesterday so that was uh, that was quite a treat for me actually so while he was at uh, doing his little testing his little test his, his big nerve-wracking test I should say I went to Dollar Tree. So uh, one thing I wanted to get there while I was there is uh, some pots. I have some herbs to transplant. I have these uh, herbs that we started growing inside and they're huge now so they have to be transferred into pots. So that's what I got this. For. I got six of those and some dirt. I do have more dirt already so I just wanted to show you one bag of dirt. And so, yeah, so that's that. Um, something that's new at my Dollar Tree are the Valida abrasive scrubbers with a little red handle. So I picked up a few of these because, uh, yeah, my husband tends to uh, kill these. <laughs> so, so I got a few of these. And I think for Valida, that's a nice, that's a good brand. Uh, Dollar Tree? Yeah. Yes, please. I also got a couple more of the journals, the Book of Joy journal. There were two left, so I got them so I could give them as gifts. Uh, some other necessities for our home, and this is a new item. It is the Blakely and Michaels uh, hand wash. And where did I read it? It said luxury somewhere. Cherry Blossom Luxury Hand Wash. So it's like luxury hand soap. And the bottle is actually pretty. It has some like embossing on the side there. So there was Cherry Blossom, which I picked up, and it has a very nice scent. And there are 12 fluid ounces or 354 ml in here. And the other one is Vanilla Lemon. I just bought one of each to try them. want to see how if they are very luxurious or not <laughs> and but they had a they have a very lovely scent and though I think the bottle was very nice for for Dollar Tree I'm like wow so yeah I got I got those that are new also new at my Dollar Tree I know they show up at other Dollar Trees but they it's new at my Dollar Tree it is the color blend temporary root touch up by Dippity Doo Finally, for brunettes, uh, the elusive brunettes. I am brunette, so, and I don't have a lot of gray hair, and so I find that uh, coloring my entire head of hair is is really like overkill and stuff. So I think this might be uh, more suited for me right now, hopefully. And yeah, so I got some of these. And new a new kitchen item is the silicone sink strainer. It's a silicone thingy that you put in the, the your sink to catch stuff. And uh, yeah, I just thought it would be a good idea to have that in the sink here in my studio. So got that flexible. And, and they did, I think they come in, do they come in different colors? Actually, now I don't remember, but I took the black one because, you know, in here with paints and stuff, it, whatever color it is, it's going to be black in no time. Anyway, so in the books, I lucked out on this one. This was the one and only piece there. Found this book. Look at this. This is, I love the vintage. Uh, it's, it's not what it, you think it is. It's actually an address book. It's a spiral bound address book. That. 
and it mimics the cover of a old Harlequin romance, uh, nine to five, the private affairs of not too private secretary. <laughs> kind of naughty. Uh, nine to five Harlequin book, but look, at, I love it. I love the vintage telephones and every section, you know, that's it's alphabetical section, baby, uh, has, has one of these lovely dividers. They're all the same, but I just thought this was a really nice little book. And uh, I could use a new address telephone uh, number book, and uh, especially to write down people's addresses. So, and I just thought this would make a lovely journal as well. It's just really, really cute. And yeah, so I got that. And I love how they, they have the price of the novel here, 50 cents. <laughs> It wasn't 50 cents though, it's $1.25. <laughs> and by the way, $1.25 because I'm in Canada. And that's what we pay here uh, at Dollar Tree. New item in the uh, party supplies and stuff is the DIY banner. Check this out. So it's a kit to DIY a banner. And I'm gonna open it for you because I think it's a fabric, I'm not mistaken. Yep, these are actually made of fabric. Check this out with Grom, um, the eyelets, nice, and the red and white string. Now, I'm looking at this more as a craft supply. That's what I'm looking at this as. So there are, how many little triangles? Oh, it doesn't say, but there's seven feet worth of these little triangle banners. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. There's six of these little triangles. And I just thought as a cross supply for something, for some journals or Maybe for actually making your own banner. Who would have thought? So, yeah, that's new. I like that they're blank, so you can do whatever you want with them. And, okay, what else? Uh, a new item, were, or maybe it's, an, I don't know if it's a new item, because it wasn't, like, with the newer stuff. Anyway, it's this little mini fan, and I just love, the, it's kind of retro looking. It's just a little plastic desk fan but it's pink and it's kind of retro looking and I thought this would be, uh, this would be fun to have on my desk. Because sometimes it, get, it gets pretty hot with all the lights and the sunshine coming in and all my computers being on. Uh, I could use an extra little breeze, even though I do have a ceiling fan and air conditioning, you know, this, uh, yeah, this, it's just nice to have. So I got that. Uh, another new item, I've seen other people haul a little cute art frames. And I got this one. I don't know if anybody else has seen this, but it says Mermaid Squad. And it has lots of pretty shiny blue sequins in there. And I thought that would be very cute for this summer. And we can put this near our pool. So thought that would be really cute. And in food, I'm just going to show you uh, one new food item. Well, it's actually two flavors, so I guess it's two. <clears throat> French is crunchy toppers. And uh, I was like, ooh, craft container. <laughs> I was thinking, after we've eaten this, if we, or if we do like eating it, oh, it has, it's a nice container. So... <laughs> It is French is crunchy toppers. You get 141 grams. So you get this big container. I thought that was a pretty good deal. So it's uh, stuff. This one is red peppers. So I guess it's like dehydrated crunched up peppers. And uh, there's a little bit of sodium. It's really, but I can eat this. This is, it's only 3% sodium. So uh, low and it's pretty low in calories. It's just the first ingredient is red bell peppers. 
and palm oil is next and some flour and some salt and dextrose so yeah mostly red peppers and they suggest this as toppings for tacos burgers salads and pizza and the other one also by French uh, French is a company here that we have in Canada that specializes in making all sorts of condiments like ketchup mustard and all that uh, and this one is dill pickle made with real cucumbers and again they say add a crunchy topping to sandwiches burgers hot dogs and pizza food this will be good on hot dogs and um, first ingredient in here is cucumbers followed by some palm oil dill pickle seasoning uh, some yeah so First ingredient is actually cucumber. So yeah, I look forward to trying these and I think it's good value for the price. All right, new, new craft items. This is my favorite part. You know that people, uh, this is in the Crafty Kids line. Again, by Multicraft, love Multicraft. They have these giant, Sponge jobbers, paint sponges. Uh, they're they're flat at the bottom, so they can stand on a table, and they're sold in the by in the crafty kids. I guess their inten their intention is for kids to sponge paint on and stuff. But um, I'm going to use these in my and my own crafting and mixed media making. I think they're really, really nice. You have a good grip on them. So yeah, so I've got a bunch of these. There's three in a, there's three in a pack. And yeah, brand new. Another brand new item. Again, a, uh, this is Color Factory. The line, the brand, uh, the line is Color Factory under Multicrafts umbrella. And here are some other paint daubers, but in a bottle. These are called bottle daubers. Let's see what they show here. And they do recommend uh, water-based products in here. And I think that the recommendation is for water. They don't say that you can't use other kinds of products, but I understand uh, because of the chemical reaction that other products would have with the sponge. That's probably why they recommend the um, I, I took it off the wrong way. There we go. So, this is what it is. It's like a, a bingo dauber or shoe polish dauber. So it's a little bottle. It's a bit hard to squeeze. It's not very, it's not very squishy, I'll tell you that. Uh, but it has a nice dauber. It's very springy. I can feel the, uh, the spring reaction inside. And you can fill this up. You can fill this up with uh, glues, watered down glues, I would suggest, so it doesn't clog up. Uh, some acrylic paint, watercolor paint, uh, add some water to it so it flows more easily. And you can use this in your arts and crafts making. So, uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. You know, I love multi craft. Doo -doo. So these are new at Dollar Tree. Got a bunch of those. Another new craft item. Again, Color Factory by Multicraft. Ooh, little sponge rollers for our arts and crafts making. It's a nice little sponge roller. Shows here some ideas how to use it with stencils, how to use it with all sorts of crafty possibilities. Uh, this is just a nice little roller, spongy roller, nice little handle. There you go. So $1.25 at your local Dollar Tree. And another new at my store. I know it's not a new item, but uh, they had just put out a whole whack of these. Uh, again, uh, this is Crafter Square. Crafter Square is a Greenbrier International Imports. And they have these little suede tassels. And they have them only in this package of blue. And there were a lot. And they were only in blue. 
So I don't know if there's other colors, but I got some of these because they're really cute. Got that. Uh, my store, not new, but my store had some more of these, so I got them. The little mini flower pots, craft medley, again, multi-craft. Little wooden flower pots, so cute. I was there at the right time. They had just put this stuff out. I was, it was good timing for me on once. So, uh, yeah, I, I jumped on it. Some other new crafty items. Again, multi-craft, craft medley. Uh, font sequins. They're alphabet sequins. And they have little holes in them. If you want to uh, sew them onto something, you may. So you can glue these, sew them, whatever you want with them. So there was this one, the kind of holographic a little bit, okay? And there's also these foil ones, a little different. These ones are, see, these ones are not holographic and the colors are slightly different. And they pair absolutely perfectly well with the cup sequins that come in a pack with three sizes. The bigger little ones, the not so little ones, and the bigger ones. Uh, and yeah, look at that. So this is what I didn't see sequins in this color, but maybe I maybe there's others. I don't know. But this is what I saw at my store. So I got them because I think they're very pretty. And, 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 and this is not a new item, but I'm just in need of some of these brushes, metal brushes. Again, uh, Color Factory, Multicraft, do, do, do. Little pack of these little brushes that I can use with really gunky stuff and throw out afterwards. So that's pretty much, no, there's still more. There's another new craft item to share with you. This time it's a Fiskars. Fiskars, these are des designed for more advanced projects uh, for paper crafting and other crafts for ages 12 and up. I figure that's fine for me. They had, they only had a, a couple pairs in pink. There were lots of blues, lots of reds, but I took the pink one, of course. Yes, I now already have a ton of scissors, but I like to have scissors with my projects, different pairs of scissors with my different projects. So, got these. Can't beat this. It's Fiskars. A dollar twenty-five or a dollar in the U.S. Really, can't beat this. Awesome. Now, some other items that I picked up for my crafting, although they're not sold for crafting. Uh, but you all, as you all know by, if you don't know this by now, you're going to find out real quick. This girl is all about crafting. So uh, I got some more napkins. This week they had these ones, Keep Life Simple. They are in the same theme as the other napkins I hauled previously. They are in the spring fling line, but this is a new size. And yeah, so I got this one. I love that it says Keep It Simple. I have the sign. That coordinates with this already so I could use this to make some cute crafts if I want if I get around to it and this one says enjoy simple pleasures so you actually these are the guest napkins and you get 14 of them in a package if I forgot to say that and so those were the two styles they had and I got some Easter themed party napkins because, well, that's coming too. So I got these. I think that's the only one I got for Easter. Yeah, so I got these little napkins. There was, there's all sorts of Easter-themed napkins right now, spring-themed napkins, all sorts of napkins. Yeah, there's a lot to choose from currently, at my store at least. So don't write me if you don't have it at your store. <laughs> um, and something that was new, where they have the wall decals, those big stickers we put on walls and that we crafters put in everything else uh, they had this and it's called it says it's really hard to tell it's really like like what is this right you would just walk by this and what it is it's window decoration and I'll show it really really close to, I don't know if you can see that really but this is sold with the intention that you could turn a clear window like this, if it were really clean though. Uh, it has to be clean first. 
um, and you put this it's like clear like it's like a contact paper but it ha it's a little frosted I can't even show it to you it looks like nothing right now and to create more of a privacy window kind of give it a somewhat frosted look so I thought hmm there can you imagine how many of these I would need to do no that's not gonna be my that's not my intention but you know me I'm probably gonna figure out a crafty use for this it's like to me it's frosted contact paper that's what it is so yeah but there might be something fun to do with this and it seems pretty thick too it's not good quality okay and for those of you who need it for small windows it is the width is 11.8 inches by uh, the length 47.2 inches and there's the centimeters okay we need to know that now uh, to finish off I have yeah to finish off I have a pair of socks that I picked up for hubby <laughs> I just thought they were really fun some fun socks for him to wear on the weekend but they were fun so I got these for him and da, 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 new in the kitchen towels but in my store they were with all the Canadian Anna Canadian tourist stuff uh, look at these little towels aren't they the cutest look at that there's like little Mounties paddles there's I think that's Ottawa yep that's Parliament Hill there we go. There's Parliament Hill in Ottawa. Yep, there we go. I think you can see the Prime Minister if you look really, really... <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, a moose. A uh, maple leaf, of course. We have a teddy bear, polar bear. <laughs> uh, some animal paw prints. And yeah, so what else is there on here? Oh, there's a goose. Canada goose and some mountains of course it's our country you know uh, iconic Canadian symbols on this towel I love this I just think these are so cute and what a nice gift these can make for my relatives uh, friends and relatives that are now expats are living in other countries uh, I just these are so cute and people that come to visit people I do business with I could give them a little gift from Canada so I got a few of these and I should go buy more and that is that for Dollar Tree uh, haul this morning that I did yesterday afternoon and yesterday afternoon my other Dollar Tree video was live and that was the one I had done a whole week before but because of internet issues and a whole bunch of other stuff that happened because life happens uh, yeah I didn't get I, I just couldn't get that video to go live until yesterday so sorry about the delay but that happens and uh, uh, so if you uh, like this video I would appreciate a thumbs up uh, please like please comment as you know I do my best to reply to all the comments even those of you who send me emails uh, I do check my emails in the morning so I do my very best <laughs> to get to them and if you spell my name with an E uh, that's okay I'm not offended that's fine you can spell my name any way you want it just takes longer if you spell it with an E that's all <laughs> And uh, uh, thank you so very much for everyone for uh, supporting this channel. Uh, please, uh, if you're interested in seeing what I have in my my new Amazon store uh, for some of my favorite products that I actually use in my craft and art making, please check that out. I'll also try to leave a link for the Dollar Tree uh, shopping uh, online that is available to uh, my US viewers only sorry Canada it's not available to Canada yet but yeah I'll try to leave those links and if I do please know that I do get a very small commission from those if you make a purchase so thank you very much and all that helps to support to pay for things like the internet bill so I can 
keep making videos. Thank you so very much for your support. Thank you for watching. Hope you like this. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and stay crafty. Bye!